Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett at ExcelMe. Welcome to Objective-C for Absolute Beginners. Tonight we're going to be talking about Chapter 1, How to Become a Great iOS and Mac Developer. For those of you that are attending live, if you can raise your hand, if you can um, see my screen and hear my voice, please, so I make sure everything is set up for those that are attending live. Excellent. All right, um, tonight we're going to be covering Chapter 1 from my um, iOS Introduction to object-oriented programming and Objective-C course. Um, and of course you can see those here under this uh, courses here. And um, I'll be covering chapter one from this, just the first 10 minutes of it. My, my classes, my courses are, um, um, are an hour long generally and um, twice a week and uh, cover the chapters in more depth. But anyway, um, if you'd like to attend live, if you're listening on YouTube, you can just go to my free videos site and register to get the GoToWebinar invites and access to attend live. And then also, if you want to see past recordings, all that information is here for the past uh, recordings. And if you'd like to get um, updated every time I update the YouTube uh, with, a new, uh, with a new recording, just go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then here is a list of the upcoming webinars. Uh, through the month of May. And usually I update it. I'll, I'll have June's updated, June and July's updated as well. All right, so let's get started with how to uh, become a great iOS programmer. And again, this is from chapter one in my book. Um, first thing, if you haven't already, take it just a second to read through the introduction. It's really important, one, to understand where to go to download Xcode, where to go to download Alice, why I use each one of those, how to how to access the, my free online forums to post questions and uh, get answers to your questions. All that's in the introduction. So, and that's all free, um, including the forum for the book. And I encourage you to just take a few minutes to read it. It also talks about how to use dual monitors, again, where to get the SDK, how much it costs, all that. So take a few minutes to read through the introduction because I assume you know that. All right, two things that I want to stress before I get into some of the terminologies like classes and methods and objects and properties uh, from chapter one is just uh, one thing that if you're new to programming that you need to understand is it's going to take time. It's not like anything else that you've learned in school where maybe you had to memorize you know the periodic table or how to balance equations in chemistry or how to parse a sentence in English there's certain rules. There is that in iOS development, but it's like a Lego kit. Here's the here's the Legos, and um, there are multiple ways in order to build this building, and multiple Legos that you can use, and how they connect them. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the tools that are out there, and it's gonna just take time and practice to see all the methods and the classes and how they interact and how you can use them to solve a problem. Um, people get very frustrated real quick because um, they they may have got along in high school or college by memorization, and which is great if you have a photographic memory, but you have to apply it, and that takes time, and a lot of people aren't used to that. So give yourself time. Be patient with yourself. The only one that's going to tell you that you cannot program and write great, o great iOS and Mac applications is you, nobody else. You'll be the one that convinces yourself to do this or not to do this. All right, so enough said about that. Let's talk about um, some of the terminology. Computer program is just a set of instructions on your iOS device that comprise the application. An algorithm is the process in which you use to solve a problem. Like, um, what's the algorithm to toast, uh, toast some bread in a toaster? Um, that's an algorithm. We're going to use algorithms to help solve our problems and break up problems into smaller, smaller requirements. A requirement is simply what is the application going to look like? I encourage all my students to um, design their application on paper or some of the nice design um, products that are out there right now before they write a single line of code because it will save them so much time if you prototype your application. And I talk about a couple of them in my book. One that um, is new to iOS developers with iOS 5 is called storyboarding. It's a feature available for free in Xcode that allows you to lay out your application in a storyboard type manner, the views anyway, 
and um, and you have a prototype, a working prototype when it's done. And you can show other people and look at it yourself to make sure it's what other people um, want, expect, it makes sense, the, the, the product flows as you'd expect um, before you start writing code because um, writing code is time consuming and expensive. It's easy to change it in storyboard or word, expensive, time consuming to change it, writing code. Okay, so some terminology that I want to cover tonight. I'll just go down here to the end of the chapter here and cover some terms. Um, what is an object? An object in object-oriented programming is anything that you want to apply action to. In other programming languages, the um, outside of object-oriented programming languages like Java, C++, and Objective-C, um, they're procedural. You go one step at a time through the program. In object-oriented programming, you take a view of looking at things as objects. So, you know, you might have a plane in your view, and that plane is an object. And we apply action to that plane. We make it take off, we land, bank, left, you know, go left, go right, go up, go down. Those are all actions that we're applying to our object. Objects also have properties. Properties dis, um, describe what that object currently looks like or is doing at that particular time. So a plane's property, I might have a property called altitude and heading and speed and pitch and yaw, latitude and longitude. These are all properties that have values associated with them. So that's what an object is, that's what a property is. Another important term to understand is the state of an object or state. If I snap my fingers, what is the state of that object? Well, currently the state of that object is, this object is, is at 10,000 feet, heading north 5,000 knots, it's pitched at 20 degrees, yeah, 20 degrees, and here's this latitude and longitude. I snap my fingers again and some of these properties may have changed. The state may have changed of that object. Might now be at 10,500 feet. Uh, might be headed north-northwest at 449 knots. So um, that's what a state is. Um, I talk about in the book why I use Alice. Um, it's a great tool to teach object-oriented programming principles without having to worry about all the syntax and um, and issues working with Xcode and Objective-C right off the bat. And a lot of the universities are using it to help teach these principles because they're noticing a lot of kids dropping out because um, they had to learn not only all the terminology, the syntax, Xcode, and the IDE, um, as well as the object-oriented uh, language itself. So um, you don't have to use Alice if you don't like it. I, I, I like it for students that haven't programmed before because it, um, it, again, teaches the principles without all the overhead. Okay, so some of the terminology that you should have down tonight is a computer program, you know, an algorithm, an object, property, a method, we didn't talk about, but a method is the action that you're applying to that object. So there might be a method for my plane that's called takeoff. Another one that is, another method that is land. Another method that is bank. Another method that is, um, deploy landing gear or retract landing gear. Um, they all apply different um, actions to our object. All right, um, let's see. I had a student ask if this is live or is it recorded? Is it live or Memorex? This is currently live. I think it's uh, Eden, that's how he says his name. Um, I'll take questions here just at the very end here, Eden. Um, all right, so for those that are uh, attending through YouTube, welcome. Look forward to having you here next Wednesday. I'm going to stop the recording uh, for YouTube, and then I'll take questions live um, on this particular chapter or any other chapter or issue that you're having with your iOS applications. Thanks, everybody, for attending. And again, those that are staying around live, stick around, and I'll answer your questions. Thanks. Good night.